Well, the College of Human Medicine has a mission to serve uh, the, the state, to serve the people of the state um, through medical education, service, and outreach, and research. So that can take many forms. This, this building is just another expression of how we serve the community and our students. And I, 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 so I think of it as a metaphor. Um, how we get in this particular building, the Sekia Center, is through an intense planning process where we, whereby we program the space around the needs of our student learners. And our goal was to create a very dynamic learning environment. Um, to create an, uh, an environment where students and faculty and staff interact only with each other, but members of the community. So we have this marvelous connectivity across the medical mile, um, various medical office buildings with our um, partners, Spectrum Health and BAI we can connect and we can be in visual distance to our other partners, St. Mary's. So that was fundamental to us. The lead, the lead part is, um, was introduced to us by, by the architects to consider that we could be environmentally sustainable. We could be a good steward of the community by considering these concepts. And if we work together, we could integrate them into the design um, and fundamentally have um, met the commitment to that environmental stewardship. So we did that. We, um, we like to, I like to think about it as an and. We had to have a great student building and we had to have something that was environmentally sustainable. This was the largest off-campus project Michigan State has developed to date. As we talk about LEED, it did present us with some opportunities to look at other ways of developing systems for the building. We're very proud that the systems in this building are conventional systems, that they are well engineered, well implemented, using very sophisticated control systems, uh, and we believe have reached a really high efficiency. Our original target was for LEED certification. We're very proud of the fact that the entire team is able to achieve LEED gold. Um, within that, some of the significant components would be this building is about 24% more efficient than a baseline building as far as energy consumption for mechanical systems and lighting. Uh, it is about 59 or 60% of the building uh, yeah. construction materials were diverted from landfills. Um, it has a very sophisticated lighting system that uses very conventional components uh, that presents not only energy efficiency and daylight harvesting but also is the way that we've developed the nighttime lighting scheme, which is important because it has such a prominent site within the Grand Rapids community. I think that the item that I'm most proud about is that we exceeded expectations in creating a sense of community in this building. So whether you see that in the atrium and the articulation between four floors, whether you see that in a PBL room where the light comes in and the students can learn in a meaningful environment, um, or our community comments are in the room that we sit now, which is the roof garden. I think we met that by all standards. Um, some of the features that really are remarkable to me is as we're in a room right now that has a photovoltaic ceiling um, that, that shields us from undue sunlight, but it is able to capture that sunlight converted to energy, which can take the lighting off the grid for this room. So that's really exciting. We've see, served multiple purposes there. I'm very proud that the resources for this building came within a 500 mile radius. And I'm very, very proud that we were able to contribute to this community in terms of the jobs we were able to bring as a result of this project that was so important to our college. This building is also a donor funded building. There are not state funds in it. And the West Michigan community is very focused on sustainability and lead and many of the donors were very interested in this being a sustainable project as it could be. Uh, overall, we believe this building will service the university well, it will be an efficient building to run. Uh, the early analysis would say that it could save between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars a year in energy costs over a conventional building, but using very conventional systems uh, that should be able to be maintained well over the years. One of the great pleasures of seeing the outcome of this is knowing what an effective team came together to make it happen. Whether that's the leadership at the university, uh, Dean Marsha Rapley, URS, Ellen Zweig, Chrisman Company, and the great folks in our college, 
it, it's truly a remarkable event when everything coincides as well as this did and collaborates. And I can't say it enough. It's it, it's remarkable, and this is the result you get. This Greening of the Great Lakes video is produced by Russ Green and White at Michigan State University for MLive.com.